into this ugly saga. That is as a result of that damning report, 37 pages long, with plenty of very serious allegations, including that seven party officials, seven Labour Party officials, were actually found guilty of breaching the party rules. Uh, other breaches in that report include falsification of meeting attendance in several branches, evidence of party officials paying for the membership of other people, members using false addresses and deficient branch records. Now, New South Wales Labor leader Jodie McKay, well, she will have plenty of questions to answer this morning. She's due here at Parliament House shortly as Parliament resumes this morning. New South Wales Labor has now been drawn into this ugly saga. That is as a result of that down... New South Wales Labor has now been drawn into this ugly... reporter Samantha Brett. Sam, this drug bust has been years in the making. Good morning, Ange. It certainly has, and quite incredibly, this drug ring was allegedly operating right under everyone's noses at the Sydney fish market. News reporter Samantha Brett. Sam, this drug bust has been years in the making. Good morning, Ange. It certainly has, and quite incredibly, this drug ring was allegedly operating right under everyone's noses at the Sydney fish market. News reporter Samantha Brett. Good morning. This pop-up centre only popped up about an hour ago, but even before then, there were lengthy queues right down the road. Hundreds of people have come out here from this local area to get tested. And, of course, that was after that case from Victoria... Good morning. This pop-up centre only popped up about an hour ago, but even before then, there were lengthy queues right down the road. Hundreds of people have come out here from this local area to get tested. And, of course, that was after that case from Victoria... And showers and a possible storm for Darwin. Finally, some good news. Berlin <laughs> Zoo is celebrating the birth of its first baby gorilla in 16 years. The newborn arrived eight days ago to first-time oh. parents Bibi and Sango. Zookeepers say both mother and baby are bonding well and the tiny tot appears to be thriving. The new addition will be named once keepers can get close enough to determine whether it is a boy or... <laughs> <laughs> and showers and a possible storm for Darwin.
evening. Big news from Kensington Palace and Prince Harry and wife Meghan are expecting a baby. The announcement coming early this evening. The couple shared the happy news with the royal family at Eugenie's wedding on the weekend. The baby is... Good evening. Big news from Kensington Palace and Prince Harry and wife Meghan are expecting... At least 50 people are dead and more than 200 injured during a mass shooting on the Las Vegas Strip. This is the moment the shooting unfolded. This has now been declared as the deadliest mass shooting in U.S. history. The gunman has been identified as 64-year-old Stephen Paddock. He was shot by police after he unleashed hundreds of rounds on people at a music festival. And join us tomorrow for special coverage on the Las Vegas shooting on Sunrise from 5 a.m. I'm Samantha Brett. Good night. Loyal has taken out the line honours of this year's Sydney Hobart. Skipper Anthony Bell also smashed the record for fastest time by nearly five hours, which was set by Wild Oats in 2012. Loyal has taken out the line honours of this year's Sydney Hobart. Skipper Anthony Bell also smashed the record for fastest time by nearly five hours, which was set by Wild Oats in 2012. Loyal has taken out the Good morning. We begin with breaking news and United States President-elect Donald Trump has met with Barack Obama at the White House for what might have been an awkward talk as he begins his transition towards the presidency. These pictures are just in of their meeting in the Oval Office as Obama's wife, Michelle, took Trump's wife, Melania, on a tour. The Republican President-elect has been a vocal critic of President Obama, questioning his citizenship and vowing to dismiss mantle his legacy. Sunrise News presenter Natalie Barr is in Washington, D.C. Good morning, Nat. We've just heard from inside the White House. Yes, the meeting between the 44th and the soon-to-be 45th Presidents of the United States went for about 90 minutes. These pictures have just come into Seven News. Speaking immediately after their meeting, the pair told the press discussions were wide-ranging, speaking about organisational and management issues, as well as foreign... Good morning. We begin with breaking news and United States President-elect... 